So the most significant finding of our study is that we've developed a method to improve upon the major limitation of breast MRI, which is the identification of false positives. Breast MRI, among imaging technologies used in radiology to detect breast cancer, is the most sensitive, that is, it's able to find the most number of cancers as compared to mammography or ultrasound. But it's limited by a variable specificity in that a lot of things that may look suspicious or may suggest cancer actually turn out to be benign when biopsied and therefore are considered false positives. So this study, we used a technology that we've developed here at UCSF called signal enhancement ratio, in which we find a more precise way to measure blood flow through the breast. Um, another way that we consider this is measuring contrast kinetics. And by more precisely measuring contrast kinetics over multiple acquisitions of MRIs, we're able to show different types of curve morphologies that predict whether a lesion is more likely to be benign or cancerous. Now, standard interpretation of breast MRI relied on looking at these images qualitatively, but now we're trying to implement a way that we can use a quantitative computerized method to measure these different um, ways that blood may flow through different lesions in the breast. And as a result of our study, we predict that we can reduce these false positives anywhere from 20 to 60 percent. And this would be clinically significant uh, in reducing a large number of um, benign biopsies. So I think there are some obvious next steps that we can take with this study. Our ultimate goal with this study would be to make this tool something that would be useful in general clinical practice so that all radiologists can potentially use this and that it would be generalizable enough that we can see the same kind of results that we observed in our study at other centers. I think this study gave me my first insight into what translational research is. This was a tool that we had originally developed with mouse models to look at, at the microscopic level, can we understand how blood flows in a breast tissue? And then applying that to patients that we've had come to our center to get their MRIs done for breast cancer. And so for me, translational research is kind of having your ears open to both what's happening in the lab, but also what's happening in the clinic. So what are research questions in the lab and also what are research questions in the clinic and finding opportunities where both worlds can maybe intersect and solve the same problem.